What internet marketing expert should you spend your valuable time listening to? Listen to someone who has over 20 years of web marketing experience and hundreds of website marketing success stories. That man is Aaron Sparks from Site Strategics. And this is Edge of the Web Radio. Uh, we've got seven ways to screw up content marketing. Uh, we got an article from Search Engine Journal, and we love this this article. Doug, tell me about content marketing real quick. Tell you about content marketing? Well, content marketing as a whole is is you want to build authority and reputation online as an expert. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And whether that means that you're if you're selling yard seed, um, you need to build your expertise that you're a gardener and landscaper and you understand what people are doing. Yep. Everything to, you know, if you're uh, installing kitchen sinks that you know about remodeling and everything else. So mm-hmm. it's content marketing is all about helping people, providing value mm-hmm. to them, really at no cost, mm-hmm. um, putting a ton of information out there that gets people to trust you, gets people to listen to you. And in turn, they want to buy from you. And there's an amplification that happens. If Absolutely. You, if you're sending out some good information, that good. starts to get shared. Right? Absolutely, yeah. And we, we've talked about before, evergreen content that is referenceable content, tried and true over the years that aren't more topical or, or, or what have you. So we've got some ideas of what to avoid whenever you're actually generating content. And that's mm-hmm. that's that's in, internal of your website, but on top of that, that's external because you want to have that, that authoritative uh, voice out there. Uh, failing to deliver high quality content pieces is i think number one yeah mm-hmm. just don't write to write right um no which no, no, no be, that, that was wrong right. which used to be a strategy right that's absolutely i mean yeah. it used to be pump it out as yeah, much as you can it doesn't really far, matter what you yeah, write yeah. farm all types of you know garbage out there just to get found <laughs> that's right that's slug right it, slug yes. the keywords and everything yeah. and, and drop those backlinks in as much as yeah. possible I and think- yeah, I think the important part of that is to actually create an editorial process, which is what that mentions, and just mm-hmm. set, you know, have these safeguards to actually ensure the quality of the article before it gets put online. I, I, I can't, I couldn't stress that enough. Is is it's not enough just to write. It's not enough also to just have somebody who's writing for you right. publish it. You got to put it through the the, the sausage factory here. <laughs> you yeah, gotta, you got to look at it and make sure that it's not only just good and relevant, but it's also carrying your perspective, your uh, uh, values. If if you're if you're if you're generating content That's like exactly that, exactly you your know? voice, your persona. We always mm-hmm. we always ask our audience: Will the marketer be able to walk away and do something with this article? That's what we keep asking. So when people submit articles to mm-hmm. us, you know, we publish a lot, for, mm-hmm. you know, for people. And that's always the bottom line. Can someone walk away and do something with this information? Absolutely. Um, another idea, sharing content pieces that aren't really interesting. <laughs> I think it goes hand in hand. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, if, if you're actually trying to share and promoting things on different social circles and, and different, uh, you know, reddits and stubble and ponds and they have no value, no interest, why... It, 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 it again gets to the same fact, uh, same concept. This was done early in stages of, of social media and sharing. You have to have yeah. good content that's going to be picked up and moved. You know, and there's those things like you know what is content marketing, right? Mm-hmm. You know, you have to write that article if you're a content marketer, a uh, content marketer, right? But dress it up and make it interesting and fascinating so that people pay attention to it. And you know, on top of that, uh, what you guys do over at DK New Media is a regular on a regular basis is put an infographic in there. Yeah, if you've got some we content, do it all the time, absolutely drop those things in because those things will that they're they're it just attracts yep. visibility, attracts sharing. Another idea of what not to do is basically deploying content pieces in the wrong medium. Uh, in, the, you know, in in addition to building high quality content around inter- interesting subjects, is also vitally important. To that you consider the type of materials that you're deploying. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing on this is just looking at the analytics mm-hmm. and making sure uh, making sure you're, you're looking at the metrics of the content that you're sharing. Uh, one point was actually to look at what you've already shared mm-hmm. and seen what has been successful in the past with your audience so you actually know what their interests are because everybody's audience is going to be different. Another great one with the analytics is seeing what people are searching on on your site. Yep. If they're searching for it, then write something right. about it. Yeah. You know, as long as it's not provided. Yeah. 
it's a whole other conversation there. Um, but you know, if they're searching on top of that, if you're looking for search terms, and there's plenty right. of free tools to actually do do a uh, a lookup of contents, contents and related con- content and subject matter. That's great fodder for writing content. The mediums of list posts and and case studies and and, and infographics, those are all all great information. You know, failing failing to adequately publicize these content pieces is another another major point. You know, it's it's not enough to actually publish it, but it, you got to publish right. it and deliver it in the right medium. And a lot of times uh, it's not that streamlined, and, and you need to contact somebody who can really help you. And guess what? Sites can do that. Or wait for Google to find you. <laughs> or wait for Google to find you.